Another segment with Senator Dr. Bill Cassidy. Hey, Dr. Bill, let's talk energy. You know, I'm watching, I don't know, I was flipping across last night and may have hit CNN for a heartbeat or two. And I'm thinking that for all the the negative publicity and negative commentary and punditry that is being hurled at President Trump by the mainstream media, in the background, he is block by block, brick by brick, step by step, in a very focused and, and purposeful way, dismantling the Obama bureaucracy. Specifically, let's talk now about the EPA and energy regulations. Am I right about that? You are right about that. Um, uh, he, I, I met with three different of his cabinet nominees. Each of those cabinet nominees told me that Trump had said he wants creating American jobs to be his highest priority. Now, now when a guy like AD, when a guy like Trump, who clearly has ADD, uh, is, is telling three <laughs> three different people the same thing, you know he's got to be focused on. It. Pardon me, specifics. What is well, uh, the president doing that uh, really will affect us in Louisiana? What you just said. He is deregulating energy. So I was down in Cachada yesterday and having lunch. And the room is full with men who are out there working on um, uh, uh, gas fields. Now, that's kind of nice. We get the Haynesville going again. He's going to make it faster to build the pipeline. Uh, for example, there was something in North Dakota that, that, that didn't touch an Indian reservation, but the folks who opposed pipelines had Indian uh, Native Americans out there because they, they know that people are sympathetic to them. As it turns out, it didn't touch the reservation. It ran alongside it. Uh, and, and the Obama administration wouldn't approve the pipeline. Boom. Uh, boom. There goes uh, Trump. He approves the pipeline. And similarly, he's approved the Trans-Canada pipeline. Now, those are just examples. But we need those pipelines to be able to bring the fuel to, to the rest of the world. Uh, the more that we are going to be exporting natural gas, as an example the more that Haynesville shale would be producing because we're going to increase the demand for the gas that we can produce. Let's talk for a second about specifically natural gas and even more pinpointed to northwest Louisiana. This, uh, I, I said during the campaign season, I said if Trump gets elected, I said the energy sector, the energy economy in Louisiana is just going to blow up, right? Yeah, totally. I have an editorial that we've got published that says that if Trump is successful in returning manufacturing to the United States and we're burning our natural gas instead of shipping our manufacturing to China where they burn coal, that, that Trump will do more for improving the greenhouse gas emissions in the world than did Obama. He will have a better environmental record than Obama. Now, I said that in the town hall. I was getting, you know, a bunch of folks who didn't like me. They just went berserk. <laughs> but the point is, is that natural gas is so much more clean burning. So if we start shipping Hainesville Shell gas to, to, to Germany and, and they start using our gas instead of either their coal or Russian natural gas, we're going to, one, increase the number of jobs in Louisiana. We're going to increase our prosperity. But we're also going to decrease greenhouse gas emissions by Germany and or hurt the Russian economy so they have less, mo less money to, to promote mischief in the Middle East and elsewhere. Sort of in, so, a, in, a, in a macro sense, because I do, I get the sense that Trump is maybe a lot better global chess player than most people give him credit for. You? I totally. And, and part of it, it's not a, it's not a hard move to figure out that if you ship out more of our gas, one, you increase our numbers of jobs, but you also hurt the Russian economy and probably the Iranian economy. Um, it's not hard to figure out, except Trump, except Obama didn't want to go there. Uh, he wants to leave it in the ground. Trump's like, you got to be kidding. Uh, we're going to produce gas in a more environmentally friendly way. We're going to create American jobs, and we're going to advance our geopolitical position. It wasn't a hard, a hard thing to figure out, but give Trump credit for pulling the trigger.